So there's a couple different ways we can set this up, but I'm gonna focus on kind of the most straightforward way where we can really kind of see the signal flow. Now, in order to do this, we need one new device to us called the Combinator. Now we can create it by either going up to the Create menu, and then it's under Utilities, Combinator, or you can do a right click or a control click uh, right in the black space of your rack and go to utilities and combinator. Either way, we'll create the same thing. Okay, now a combinator does exactly what it sounds like. It combines stuff, right? So the first thing we need to do is make sure the show devices button is selected, which it is because it's red. And that gives us this little black area down here. Now we don't have any devices loaded up, so it's just this little black area. So in the black area, let's uh, control click one more time and let's go to this section of the menu that comes up and I'm gonna go to instruments and I'm gonna create a subtractor. Cool, so now you can see the subtractor is actually in the combinator. So if you look at the edges here, you can see it's a little, got a little shadow here. So it's inside the combinator. It doesn't go all the way out to the edges of the rack like it did before. If we click the show devices again, it's gonna go away and we're just gonna see the combinator. So the subtractor is in the combinator. Now that's just one device, so let's load another one. So I'm gonna do the control click or right click again, and I'm gonna go to instruments, and this time, let's do a maelstrom. So I've got a subtractor and a maelstrom. Now, I have one more thing I need to do before we're really working, because both of these aren't gonna be connected. So if I play a note right now, both devices are getting MIDI, and I can tell that by looking at this note on up here in subtractor and the note on in maelstrom. That's telling me that it's getting uh, the MIDI signal, but we're only hearing one of them. I think we're hearing subtractor. And the reason is we have to route the audio a little bit differently here. So let's flip over to the back of the rack. So I'm hitting the tab key. Okay, now you can see that our output, our main output for subtractor is going into the combinator, but our main outputs for the maelstrom are going nowhere, right? So that's why we're not hearing it. So where should they go? So I'm gonna flip back over and I'm gonna add a little line mixer so that we can see where everything's going really easily. So one more device we're gonna to add to the combinator. So I'm gonna control click one more time, utilities, and then reason devices, and let's do this line mixer 6-2. Okay, there's our line mixer. Now I'm gonna click and drag and just move this to the top. That's all I'm gonna do. There's no functional reason to do that. I just like to do it. it. Makes life a little bit easier. Okay, let's hit tab again and crawl around to the backside. So now our output from subtractor is going into the combinator. It's going right here actually. So I'm gonna click and hold to undo that because I actually want it to go into, let's put it in the left channel of channel one on our line mixer. So subtractor only has one output, so we're just gonna put it into the left channel. Okay, so let's take our outputs here, and I'm gonna take the left output, and I'm gonna put it into channel two up here, into the left input on the line mixer. And when I do that, the right channel says, oh, I see what you're doing, and it connects for us. So now we're all connected, channel one, channel two. Okay, so now that Maelstrom is connected correctly, we have one more step, because now we have our master output of the line mixer, which has to go somewhere. So let's run that into the combinator in the from devices. So I'm gonna connect the left output of the mixer to the left input of the combinator, and it's smart enough to know what I'm doing, so it completes the right. Okay, now let's tab over one more time and I'm gonna play a note and see what we got. Great, so now I've got both. Now we've got the Vesper sound and the bass guitar sound. So I've got solo and mute capabilities here. So let's solo bass guitar. And we hear that. Let's solo Vespers. And I've got that, great. So now I'm all combined and I've got MIDI control going to both devices now because they're in a combinator. I've got audio going into a line mixer 
and that gives me some level control over them. It also gives me an aux send and a panning amount. So that's how we set up the combinator to control multiple synths with a single MIDI input. Again, there are a couple different ways to do this, particularly the audio routing, but I think this is the simplest way that shows you exactly what's happening. Okay, in the next video, let's use this concept and make a patch.